friends today we are going to talk about pseudomonas aeruginosas basically what happens this is a topic of microbiology the problem which all students get through is the important characteristic of bacteria and apart from this uh, which is the uh, organ or systems they are in infect infecting these are the most common equations which arises on the medical examinations so this is the first part of my group uh, that uh, topic pseudomonas aeruginosus where we are going to talk about only characteristics only characteristics and where these pseudomonas aeruginosus bacteria are present so first we will start up with the gram negative uh, characteristic this is gram negative oxidase positive aerobic bacteria rod shape as we can see and this is covered with a capsule so it is capsulated it is very motile since it has a flagellated if a bacteria is motile then it's compulsory it has some uh, motility character see here we can see a flagellum apart from this it, this is the most important thing which discriminate pseudomonas aeruginosus from other classifications then this is a known lactose ferment and basically what we can see if we are going to diagnose that the uh, blue pigment on the thiocene are present so we can detect there there are the uh, presence of pseudomonas aeruginosus and apart from it it has a grape like odor so it will be smell like a grape then it is found on soil water droplets raw vegetables since it is the number one cause of infected organ that is the liver so if if there will be infected liver then the number one cause will be the pseudomonas aeruginosus apart from this it also produces exotoxins exotoxins that cause inflammation and septicemia it also produces exotoxins that's called pseudomonas exotoxin a a for aeruginosa a for exotoxins like this you can just mug up the thing then it is responsible for adp ribosylation for elongation actually it is a very long process which we going to talk about in the part second of this uh, video then apart from this the infection which it causes are the pneumonia septic shock uti gid skin and tissue infection such as hemorrhage necrosis cellulitis vasculitis dermatitis the pneumonia that is uh, associated with bronchopneumonia cystic fibrosis in cystic fibrosis uh, fibrosis patients it is most recognized then it is it is associated with purple black lien then in uti's such as the patient who had already had a past history of catheterization they are most affected with the pseudomonas aeruginosus then the in gid there are the necrotizing enterocolitis so we are end up this pseudomonas aeruginosa and in the second part we are going to talk about the prevention disease diagnosis and the treatment which going to give for the bacteria.